uh, not for us, the administration, who enjoy seeing the state that the Conservative opposition got itself into, but actually for the residents that, that everyone in this chamber is meant to represent and is letting down with everything that you do on this issue. I was astonished to hear one slightly ridiculous calls here and here from people uh, on the Conservative benches when people were making compliments about the NHS because it did not take into account the betrayal that each and every one of you who supported the last Conservative administration took part in when you left the campaign to save Charlie Cross Hospital. Yes. You put magazines out saying that you had saved yes. the hospital, but only 13% of you remained. And you said the a &E would be retained, but the comms person who since left the told me his one contribution to that magazine for cover was to ensure it was put in quotation marks, because everyone knew that clearly was not true. And why was it not true? It was not true because behind the scenes and outside the light of public examination, Jeremy Hunt, Alice Cronies, and David Cameron agreed that there should be three classifications of a &E. And the very third classification is so confusing that up until two months ago, on the NHS England website, they would mix up the words urgent care centre and class 3 a &E in the same paragraph. So what happens? If you're that person having a heart attack who wanders in to the wrong AE because you think it's an AE, but it's a downgraded urgent care clinic, only to find you put your life at risk. Or what happens? Or what do you call an ambulance? Well, we sure, sure as, uh, as, as anything is true, hour long waits, people queuing up to get into Northwick Park Hospital. And the doctors didn't even know what state the people were inside of the ambulances. And I know that because a doctor working in that hospital told me. Now what all of us are meant to do in this chamber is stand up for the people of this borough. Is irrespective of what happens anywhere else, we are elected to represent the good citizens of Hampstead and Fulham. And that's what we're doing. So how do you begin to unpick the chaos that sees people not able to get GPs sees an a &E crisis, sees Jeremy Hunt on TV, complaining even he can't get an appointment to a GP. What you do is you have an independent public inquiry. And we are honored <coughs> to have <coughs> this one. And the one of the well, it's a bit difficult to take, you know, I saw a piece you wrote about him. It's a bit difficult to take lectures when you look at your history, which we don't really mention. But, but to, actually, to actually have somebody who, as I understand, suspended by Norman Tebbit, I don't know. <laughs> and Dr. Stephen Hurst, and what we see with everybody who's taking part on this commission is an evidence-based review, a proper evidence-based review, that we will be able to show exactly what's happening in public, with the public, working with them for a better settlement. That is the 180 degree opposite to betrayal of you, you, yes. you, you, yes. you, yes. you. Yes. Where is your early You betrayed us! Where is your early pleasure? We have, we have, we have lectures. What are you waiting for? administration on cuts and managing public health. When is the early administration? But when it cuts services to Iranian refugees, advise them to go to the Iranian embassy, and on administration when it cut services to Afghan refugees, sent them to an Afghan dog's home. Yeah. They weren't even yeah. bothered enough to check the details of that. Yeah. Look it up. Where That's is your early administration? Yes. This administration is doing every possible, will block those changes, but will develop, will develop, will develop a plan that is better than what happens. And don't get them on the side unless you've got something useful to say. Because because everyone in this chamber, including <laughs> your own side, is actually your devoid of the able to have. This administration, rather than betraying the people that you seek to represent, will stand shoulder to shoulder with them. And do you know what? <coughs> They're standing shoulder to, to shoulder with us, which is why you are the opposition, and we're the administration, and we're going to defend.